Hi there, this is Fixed It. I bought this Yamaha Bluetooth uh, MIDI in and out. It's the Yamaha MD BT01 to go with this Fader Fox DX2 uh, MIDI in and out control unit. Unfortunately, when I plug it in, it doesn't work. A quick check with a multimeter will show me that there is no earth on the middle pin of the MIDI in and out. So the middle pin of the MIDI and the metal of the box, there's no earth in it. So what difference does that make? The output of the Fader Fox is not Bluetooth compatible. So using this uh, Studio Master, first thing I did was to check that the, the Fader Fox was actually putting out correct outputs. And as you can see, as a turn the dials here everything's lighting up nicely so the MIDI is uh, coming out of the Fader Fox okay and it's coming out as controls um, but there's no power coming out on the MIDI so what I decided to do was to uh, build this little circuit here which is basically some 2N 222s and some resistors and I'm taking a feed off the cable output on the MIDI out here and it's coming through here through two transistors as inverters and then as we can see from the uh, the oscilloscope I've actually got signals coming out as I twiddle And if I look over here, I'll just clear this MIDI monitor on my Mac so that we can see it. If I just times two on that, hopefully we'll be able to see it. As I turn the dial here, we can see that it's receiving Bluetooth signal. And the Bluetooth it's receiving is the Yamaha MD-BT01 which is currently connected so I've fixed my problem with a couple of transistors I'll put something out about the circuit that I've used it's really basic and really straightforward what I'm going to do is to just build a little board and I'm going to put a switch on this panel so it basically switches between its standard Fader Fox output and also the Bluetooth MIDI version of the output so therefore it doesn't compromise it for use with other fader fox units but it also means that i'll just be able to plug this here yamaha device into the back of the fader fox and use it as a bluetooth controller the circuit that i've got here obviously is likely to work with others so i'm going to modify a number of other couple of bits in my kit um, to do it i did originally plan to just use this ic here which is the 74 lc 04 which is a cmos inverter gate but it seems a bit of an overkill when you can achieve the same things with a couple of transistors and the more gates you use the more delay you'll get whereas with a couple of transistors there'll be virtually no delay at all the circuit i have here is really quite straightforward the 2n222 uh, its emitter is going to ground its base which is the middle pin has got a 10k resistor coming in and the input to that is actually midi out so there's a 220 ohm resistor on the collector here and which is giving obviously power for the collector and then there's a 10k resistor going from that collector um, over to the next transistor um, again the the 10k is coming in on the base the emitter is going to ground there's a 220 ohm resistor coming into the collector and then there's a 100 ohm resistor that comes out from that and that's actually going out um, to the output here which is the uh, to the Yamaha um, which is on pin 5 this is my alternative to a 80 or 90 dollar MIDI converter consists of two transistors and one two three four five six seven resistors 
and it does exactly the same job so here's my fader fox I twiddle the knobs there's the MIDI signal and there's the MIDI there's the MIDI shooting by on the screen so I'm going to build this into the fader fox box put a double pole double throw switch in there so I can switch between Bluetooth driver output and standard fader fox output not a bad evening's work really with all the investigation as you can see it's a bit of a mess getting there <laughs> but that's why you have adjustable current limited power supplies and oscilloscopes and soldering irons and digital meters and all the rest of it just for the fun I'll show you it once it's in the box and it's all working. I'm really, really pleased with the results. I think I might actually try and do one surface mount as well, which should be even smaller. So I'm drilling a small hole in the panel. And I'm going to make it big enough so that it fits this tiny little double pole, double throw switch. So I can switch between the uh, MIDI out and the Bluetooth MIDI out. I'm glad I created such a tiny little board because there's very little space available in here because the PCB comes right down so it's a very tight space. So I wired it all up and it doesn't work which is really bizarre because when I put the scope on all the parts the units working but when I do the switch over it doesn't work and then late last night I suddenly thought what I'll do is I'll just check out the plug that I made to go with the breadboard and what I discovered was that not only did fader fox not follow the standard midi spec but because they were using ground and a data output they actually swapped everything around <laughs> what i need to do on this micro switch is just swap those two wires over and then with a bit of luck the unit should work perfectly so i'll just do that now Okay, so swapping those two wires around and we see the instant effect. The LED light is glowing, which means the unit's getting power. And um, you now with a bit of a look, I'll just switch on the Bluetooth and it should all be working. So all that's left to do is to wrap this up in some electrical tape and put it in the box close the box and then we'll take it over to the Mac and test it out as I said it was a as I said it's been an interesting project and obviously this double pole double throw and this little board is a great little solution for it's a great solution for this um, no MIDI power, which means this will now be a Bluetooth capable fader fox with a switch on it in order to uh, disable the Bluetooth and go back to be able to be linked with other fader fox devices. I've just done a Bluetooth modification on this fader fox DX2 and plug the Yamaha Bluetooth MIDI device into the back and so let's just switch it on there's the MIDI devices as you can see the Yamaha is the MD-BT01 which is currently offline so if I just switch this to battery mode on the Fader Fox the Yamaha device has become active so let's just connect and then using the uh, 
MIDI monitor over here. I'm going to switch on Bluetooth. Just clear this area here. Okay, and now when I change the fader fox, and here we have it. This is Turn the dials here. We have changing numbers on the mini monitor. So this Fader Fox DX2 is now Bluetooth compliant. Hope you liked the video. Please subscribe to the channel and check out my other money saving tips. Thanks for watching. Bye.